when your state lights a flame, when you find yourself dealing with uh, deadly catastrophes that you didn't used to have to deal with, at least nearly as often, remember to thank the Republicans. Because Republicans brought this down upon all of us. And the irony being, Republicans are suffering the worst for it. Here's Texas, presently. Uncontained Texas fire scorches 300,000 acres. That's uh, a couple days hence. You see that? Driving through the apocalypse there. It really, it really does make one wonder how much we have to endure uh, before, before Republicans will begin to treat these things seriously. They're, they're, uh, you know, uh, Republicans basically control everything in Texas at present. Their state's on fire. They saved that seal, don't worry. Texas Governor Greg... Oh, this is by Anna Skinner for Newsweek. Texas Governor Greg Abbott issued a disaster declaration for 60 counties on Tuesday, but his response to the raging wildfires burning throughout the state has raised eyebrows. Widespread wildfires consuming thousands of acres began on Monday. Authorities haven't identified the cause, according to the Associated Press. Uh, well, I, I can tell you the cause. Uh, some minor piece of idiocy that 20 years ago would not have resulted in a massive wildfire, uh, which today did result in a massive wildfire because we have absolutely fucked over the environment. That's the cause. You're welcome. You can co tell them to contact me. I'll explain it to them. Countless evacuations are in place, and heartbreaking videos of the fire's impacts spread across social media Wednesday. On Tuesday... Abbott announced the disaster declaration on X, formerly Twitter, issuing a disaster declaration for 60 counties to ensure critical resources are swiftly deployed to communities impacted by wildfires. Texans are urged to limit activities that could create sparks and take precautions to keep their loved ones safe. Abbott posted with a link to the press release announcing the disaster declaration. Several X accounts responded to the announcement, criticizing Abbott, the one I like. You're not going to ask for federal funds, are you? One person <laughs> responded to the disaster declaration post. I could go on. I could talk about how Greg Abbott was just recently uh, battling with the federal government over his right to be a racist See You Next Tuesday and to kill more people with razor wire in the Rio Grande. But we already get it. If you're listening to this, you know. You know the Republicans are no good. You know they got to be replaced. Well, you can't replace Greg Abbott in, in the upcoming election. But let me tell you, you can replace a whole lot of people who created this problem. It's a Republican problem. It's not a Greg Abbott problem. Well, let me try that again. It's a Greg Abbott problem because it's a Republican problem. None of them should be spared criticism here. Here's a not-so-useful uh, <laughs> uh, uh, website. No, this is a very useful website when you're not using it, running it through OBS. Here are the candidates you can pick from. You've got Democrats and Republicans listed. Pink, let me know. For the Senate here, we're looking to replace Ted Nobody Likes Me Cruz. Should not be that difficult. Should I be telling people to support Colin Allred, Allred the former football player? I'm sorry, I can't say his name. Uh, Mary Gomez, Mark Gonzalez, Roland Gutierrez, A. Robert Hassan, The Robert Hassan, Steve Keogh. You let me know. I actually kind of liked Allred. 
when I read a bit about him, but I suspect as a former football player, he'll disappoint me. <laughs> so do tell. But the point being, March 5th, I think that's your primary. Give us some progressives. Get a couple of friends. That's all you got to do. Reach out to a couple of friends who you don't think vote. Try to get them, pick a candidate that you think is good. Ask them as a favor to you, if nothing else, to support that person. Just vote for him. Cost them nothing. Let's see. Uh, maybe, maybe she's let us know. Tinkerbell. All red looks promising, actually. Well, excellent. Excellent. Let's read up on him. We have the weekend. You find a couple of friends. We'll, we'll make a trip out of it. But tell them. Come with me to vote. Get involved. Our state's literally burning. Because we have, we collectively, we the people, have allowed this stuff to go on. Now we have a chance to change it. And get rid of Ted Cruz. Sick of seeing that guy. A progressive is more likely to do it than a centrist. 